Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com, here with the Earthquake Channel. It is 9.24 in the evening on Thursday, January 7th, 2021. And we are going to look at the last 24 hours, uh, quakes that hit in our forecast regions. And then we're going to take a look at the uh, forecast from around the world for uh, 30 different countries. We'll start with the uh, last 24 hours. All right. And we got a few quakes down in uh, Chile. You can see them right here. Two right here, 4.2 and 4.4. And then a 4.3 uh, closer in northwest of Santiago. These quakes up here near uh, La Serena occurred right in here in a 75% risk area. This whole area is, is, is very high risk right now. And uh, the other quake here occurred near northwest of Santiago, right about here in the 65% uh, risk area. We've been talking about a quake uh, hitting northwest uh, Peru. We got a quake in northern Peru, just east of our warning area, a 4.6. And that occurred just east of this warning area, right about in here in the 50% risk area. And we've been talking also about a quake happening in southern Mexico or uh, western Guatemala. And that warning area is right here. And this uh, quake here, 4.2, occurred south of Guatemala in the 65-70% risk area. And just across the peninsula here, our, our very high risk area, this risk right here, very high risk. We were expecting about a 4.5. Well, we got a 4.4 uh, right across from that very high risk area in Sand Point, Alaska. Right about in here. Philippines, 4.4 hit in uh, Southwest Philippines. Our risk is more in uh, West Central Philippines here. And that quake hit down here. And uh, in Indonesia, we're still expecting something here in Central Sumatra. And you can see that risk right here. And uh, this quake 4.4 hit uh, east of Jakarta right in here in Java. All right, we're going to go over the uh, earthquake forecast from around the world. We're going to start with uh, California. Right now, the risk in Southern California is down near the Salton Sea, 60, 65% risk area. And we could still get a 3.0 to 3.5 down there. And then the risk on the uh, the twenty or the eighth into the ninth of January uh, grows in the northwest here, and so we could expect on the tomorrow into the ninth a four point five to five point zero earthquake in the northwest portion of California, from Eureka to Crescent City. And then in the ninth into the tenth, that risk diminishes. And this risk rose uh, a little bit more in the south near the Salton Sea to 65 to 70% risk. Okay, up in Alaska again, uh, that risk in the west is from the 6th into the 7th. And then that diminishes from the 7th into the 8th. The 8th into the 9th begins down near uh, Moresby Island and uh, Kitchikan, 60% risk down there. And then in the 9th and 10th, you can see a risk area in Western Canada and 65% south of the uh, Kodiak Island. And in Chile, our risk continues very high east of Copiapo, 95% risk there. The 7th into the 8th, and then uh, tomorrow into the 9th, that risk diminishes to 85% uh, north of La Serena, and south of Copiapo, highest risk right there is 85. And then uh, risk increases up here, uh, southeast of Antofagasta, 90% in the far northeast portion of Chile for the 9th and the 10th. Italy, we're still expecting a, a significant earthquake here in east central near Pescara, Italy, and that should hit uh, very soon. And then the risk moves into uh, Sicily 
and Bosnia Herzegovina on the seventh and the eighth. Eighth and the ninth, it kind of gets quiet around Italy. Ninth and the tenth, uh, eighty percent in Western Sicily, and we could get a four point something, four point five or so in uh, Algeria and Northern Tunisia. And in Japan, uh, the risk remains in Northern Japan near Iwate Prefecture in Akita. And that continues on the 8th and the 9th, Iwate Prefecture to Akita, 90%. We get a 5.0 in this uh, region here, 5.0 uh, to 5.5 possible on the 8th and the 9th. And then the 9th and the 10th, that risk grows even more there. We could get a 5.5 just uh, offshore Iwate Prefecture on the 9th and the 10th. In the Philippines, uh, West Central Philippines, a 60% risk of 4.0 is possible in there. And then on the 9th and the 10th, Northeast portion of Philippines, could get a 4.5 in that 70% risk there. Athens, Greece forecast. Risk is in the far northwest near Albania. And then on the 8th into the 9th, tomorrow into the 9th, uh, some, something could happen in uh, far northern uh, Greece here, a 4.0 or 4.5 in uh, Albania. In the 9th and the 10th, risk begins to build into West Central Greece on the 9th and the 10th of January. Central America, we still have this risk here in, uh, well, that the 6th and the 7th, so we're still partly in that forecast. 7th and the 8th, uh, quieter. And the 8th and the 9th, we could get a 5.5 in Nicaragua or north of Panama here, but it looks like Nicaragua is the highest risk there um, in western or eastern Honduras and Nicaragua. Managua and Nicaragua, the country of Nicaragua, could get a 5.5 earthquake on the 8th and the 9th of January. And the risk is then on the 9th and 10th in Honduras or eastern Guatemala, you could get a 5.5 on the 9th or 10th on, uh, in that area. Honduras on the 9th and 10th, and on the 8th and the 9th, uh, Nicaragua or north of Panama. Ecuador and Peru. Once again, our risk is in the northwest. We got that quake here in the north. Um, the 7th and 8th, uh, also on the northwest portion of Peru. 8th into the 9th, uh, diminishing in the northwest. And the 9th into the 10th, uh, builds back up again, still something possible offshore uh, Ecuador and Peru on the 9th and the 10th of January. Indonesia, okay, we're waiting on this 5.5 uh, or larger quake in central Sumatra on the 8th into the 9th. Right now, I believe it's about, uh, about 11 or 12, uh, 11 in the morning on the 8th already over there. So we're looking for a 5.5 in the next 24 hours or so in central Sumatra. And uh, 9th and the 10th of January, uh, the risk is in northwest Sumatra. Over in Taiwan during the next 48 hours, the uh, southwest portion of Taiwan is the most significant risk area for the next uh, 48 hours, same area here, western and southwestern portion could get a 5.0, uh, especially on the 8th and the 9th. And here on the 9th and the 10th, we still have that very high risk in southwest Taiwan, where again, a 5.0 to 5.5 is possible. And in the Caribbean, it looks like this, the 7th and the 8th, maybe during the next 12 to 24 hours, something will happen in the Northeast Caribbean here. We could get a 5.0 or larger in the Northeast Caribbean uh, during the next 24 hours. 
and that risk remains in the Northeast uh, Caribbean on the 8th and the 9th, and the 9th into the 10th, uh, still very high risk in uh, the Northeast uh, Leeward Islands there in Northeast Caribbean, and down into some of these areas where they've been getting that uh, volcanic eruption as well. Uh, very high risk in the Lesser Antilles on the 9th and 10th as well. All right, the state of Washington. Uh, risk begins building in uh, 7th into the 8th. So during the next 36 hours, we get a, uh, a 5.0 offshore southwest of Portland, Oregon, or maybe even onshore here um, during the next uh, 24 hours or so, 24 to 36 hours. The 8th into the 9th is coming up, and that's where something significant should happen southwest of Portland. And in Istanbul, the Turkey earthquake forecast, pretty quiet until the 9th into the 10th when uh, 70 to 75% risk builds in uh, Western Turkey where a 4.0 to 4.5 is possible on January 9th or 10th. And in Hawaii, again, the risk is building over Hawaii. And during the next 24 hours, we could get a, an eruption on the volcano there in uh, Hilo, Hawaii area, and uh, in southern, southern Hawaii on the main island there. Uh, 5.0 is possible the 7th and the 8th of January, so during the next 24 hours. And then that risk begins to diminish by the 9th into the 10th. So look for during the next 24 to 36 hours, a significant earthquake in uh, Hawaii, most likely uh, just northwest of Hilo, Hawaii. We got one more map. We got another uh, new country to add. It's New Zealand. We could get a 5.0 or larger in New Zealand. Not sure exactly where. The risk extends from Christchurch all the way north, uh, past Wellington into the uh, northwest portion of the Philip uh, of New Zealand, I'm sorry. So something significant will happen during the next 24 to 36 hours in New Zealand. It looks like a 5.0 to 5.5 is likely, most likely in this 85% risk area here or higher than 90% risk area. And once again, we're gonna go back to the Los Angeles forecast. Uh, sort of quiet right now, slight risk in the south, but tomorrow, the 8th into the 9th, we could get a 4.5 to 5.0 in the northwest portion of California during the next 24 to 36 hours. Again, we added, uh, New Zealand earthquake forecast, and um, we had uh, added uh, Hawaii to the forecast just a little while ago as well. So we have uh, uh, Hawaii and uh, New Zealand, our new forecasts here uh, at the Earthquake Channel. We will keep you updated. Uh, we just saw Vanuatu got a 6.1 just in the last hour or so, and a chi earthquake in China, 5.0. So we'll keep you updated here, quakeprediction.com, the Earthquake Channel. And we'll keep you updated every day. So we'll be back again uh, tomorrow, which is, I believe, Friday. Yes, Friday, January 8th. We'll be back. And we're trying to keep the forecasts at around uh, 10 p.m. Pacific time every day. So look for that, 10 p.m. Pacific time. Every day we'll have an update here at the Earthquake Channel. Thank you so much again. This is Luke Thomas. Uh, wishing you a very nice weekend. Thank you.